Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 23rd of 2023. Well, it is titled the Antikythera mechanism. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a part of what we believe is the oldest computer in existence. Now, not an electronic computer as we have today, but an analog computer to do calculations. And this 2000 year old device was found uh, in a wreck of a decaying ship. So out in the Mediterranean and still we have been studying it for decades, trying to understand how it worked and how, what it would have been able to do. Now we have done some images and we can see we've done some x rays to really try to study this in more detail. But it is really an extremely complicated device, much more complex than we would have thought of for the time. It re, what, what we know what we found that it can do is to be able to calculate things like positions of the stars and the planets, which could have been very useful for navigation. So perhaps that's why it was found on a ship was it a device used to help navigate across the sea. Uh, it also could predict things like eclipses. Now, while eclipses have have been known for a long time, being able to predict them, uh, which we can do very accurately now, was could be a difficult thing because they are a very complex pattern of motions of Earth and Moon. And the combination of those is what will get everything lined up properly with the Earth, Moon and Sun to give us an eclipse. Now here we're seeing the largest of these, uh, largest of these gears, which is about 13 centimeters in size. What would that be? That would be about five inches across. That is the largest of the gears. So get an idea of the scale here. The entire mechanism was almost three times that size, about the size of a large book. So it's not a massive device, but a very complex device. And one thing that people are working on now is to try to model what was done here to try to uh, make computerized models and then re do reproductions of the components to be able to get a complete replica of what might have been done and might have been built thousands of years ago. And of course, the re why would the reason for this? Why would they need such a complex device? Well, remember that we don't have anything, any of our modern devices at this time, but trying to track the stars was very important. Trying to know the positioning of the stars was essential for things like navigation and setting the calendar. So developing a very complex device such as this would have been very useful to the early peoples of the Mediterranean a couple of thousand years ago as a way to be able to calculate these things accurately. And you may have even noticed this device being featured in the most recent Indiana Jones movie. So that was our picture of the day for July 23rd of 2023. It was titled the Antikythera Mechanism. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Rainbow Meteor. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.